Listen, that's the ambiance of the interview. Kelly in the back, your brother-in-law with it. Yeah, I mean, with the got, dog chasing the rooster. And... Yeah, the rooster's down there. Okay, so we had a good day on the lake, right? Hayden Lake, baby. We climbed the mountain too. Yeah. Now I was home this morning with the uh, water heater guy. So you, did, you went... get, did you get it in or to one, next uh, week? Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah. What'd you go with? Seventy-five. Seventy-five gallons. Good for you, man. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we talked about camps. Camps are on, as far as we know. Um, more news coming on that too. I think we'll probably have to do a Zoom when you when you get further along in that process. Yeah. So yeah. we're just probably a little bit away. And we got all these partnerships. You know, we had uh, Josh with uh, Barbarian Apparel send some things out. We got some stuff coming from uh, Defense Soap. We've been using the Defense Soap products and wipes all week. Um, good. Yeah. Really good. Stuff, Great product with Defense yeah. Soap, right? Obviously, and then. Yeah all these partners that I have and building relationships, but you also do other stuff within wrestling. What's the other thing that you do within wrestling? And, and we shot videos out on your, out on your yeah. resolite mat, right? Yeah. Well, the first, yeah, the, the, the first thing would be, uh, the main thing would be, um, you know, being a sales rep for resolite. And so a lot of mats, of course, I mean, that's a big part of the, you know, the business and stuff, but other things too, but, uh, you know, a lot of mats, um, wall pads, wall, wall padding, you know, I mean, um, of course the, the landing, the landing mats, you know, for some of your, when guys are training, throwing and stuff I like, like to that. call them a crash pad, crash pad. There you go. I'm that's a crash pad, guy. crash pad. That's yeah. It. Crash pad's and awesome. Then the, um, you know, just a lot of the accessories that people need to keep their room and wall mats are huge. Wall mats and 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 the wrestling uh, mats are probably most of my business with that. So when you know we talk about this and you know we look at the big thing with mats is we know that we're when we talk about you know a, a product, Kevin like Resolite. We know what we're getting with Resolite. We know what we're getting with Defense Soap. Yeah. Okay. We know what we're getting with Barbarian Apparel. We know that these are some of the best brands within the wrestling industry, whatever, you know, within, whether it's gear, I like the gear doesn't fall apart. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Uh, I don't get the funk and my kids don't get the funk with the fence. This is big, but we know like, and I know that a classic resolute, that's the best thing that you can train combative on. Oh, I would agree. I mean, a hundred percent. I mean, stand the test of time and you're talking about a, you know, family company, 60 years in business and, that's still my favorite. Now we move a lot of lightweight mats that really um, are really practical for a lot of programs, or you know, for the some of the home mats and really portable. Can move them easy. Can set them up easy. But yeah, for me, um, you know, Coach Roberts, hey, you got your program here. What what do you want? Um, you know, for me is the I'm 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 classic. I'm classic Matt, you know, seven days a week, twice on Sunday. <laughs> I mean, you know, the things we shot were really, I liked it. What Drew was doing out there on that little mat in your garage. And, and I got some really bad news that apparently on Resolite mats, the gap has finally been closed between father and son is what I was told. That, that, oh, that, really? That, that, uh, that, that, that a, a victory went the, the son's way this year is what I've, what I heard. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I mean, they just, I'm just telling you what I heard. I don't think it was a sanctioned match. No, no. I mean, room is room. Okay. You know? So, but yeah, sometimes you don't talk about room wrestling, right? Maybe that's, maybe that's bad to talk about room wrestling, right? Yeah. Right? When the son gets the father, you know, on, on stuff, on match you're pushing, I don't know what to say. Do you know what to say? Well, did, did he get you? Did he get you? Did would, he finally get you? I would say somebody did probably a hell of a coaching job. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what you want? Yeah, that's the goal. You want him to beat you. You want him to be more than the two-time D1 All-American. Isn't, isn't that what you want? Right. Is the, is the young guy yeah. to, to get him to the level where, you know? Yeah. I mean, sounds like somebody did their job. It, it does. But I did tell him, I told Drew, your son, I said, dude, if you hurt him, then you're not going to have anybody to work out with. Listen, man. Listen. I'm like Toby Keith. You know what that is? No, I want to know. How do you like me now? I don't know. I don't know. I that too. I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. You just need the right day, the light under the light, the ref, 
the fans in the stands, the emotional buildup on both guys. Hey, any, you can find a way to get it done once. I mean, I obviously <laughs> would take you in a one, may, a may, best one, uh, best of one. Man. I got you. Uh, there'd be He's some, got weight on you too. There'd be some good strategy. He's got weight on you too. Yeah, there'd be some the good strategy. A, the, guy run, the guy can run a four twenty mile. He's a freak. I'd have to be very strategic. He runs a four twenty mile. He's a mutant. But um, in this COVID time, right? You know, we, the, the big thing we did when we were doing the promotions with the, the technique, and Drew kind of doing his own workout, and then you guys shooting technique on one another. Um, we haven't had contact with people. Well, you guys got you got a built-in workout partner. You got a kid yeah. who's at you know you're, he's a D1 guy. You're a 210 D1 All American. How beneficial were the mats for you during all of this and, and and not being able to be around other athletes? Yeah, I mean for sure, right? So you're trying to, and this is maybe for you know other kids or or coaches thinking too. Is we're in a we're in a we've been in a different time and stuff. But you know you're trying to stay close to the fire. So even if you got to you got to um, ad lib a little bit, you got to do some different stuff. You got to get creative. There's always ways to get creative. But, you know, if you can get a mat where you can at least keep your stance and motion going, you can get, get, you know, get your hands on, you know, work your ties, working, you know, coming inside, clearing ties, learning how to chain one tie to another. And then, you know, do some stuff like some easy penetration, um, you know, knee sliding, re-delivering your hips, shot recovery, things like that. You know, working on bottom, getting your back pressure and stuff like that. There's a lot that you can do, you know, on a 10 by 10 mat. And then you can go bigger. I mean, you can go bigger, you know. If you got room in your garage, whatever you can do, like that's what you got to do. And I think that's the number one thing, right? That's the number one thing. It's always what, what you can do more important than what you can't do because there's a lot of people that you know will will abide by that well i can't do you know i couldn't really work out this summer i couldn't and there's always something you can do you guys got tons of mountains here you know i'm a big i love the, the running up of the mountain and, or walking up right i'm walking up and they dusted me bad today it was really bad it was way worse than you and your two little kids dusted me but they kept waiting your brother-in-law is such a compassionate nice guy you know? Well, he's a hiking machine. He is a hiking machine. I he mean, hiked ASICs on too. Yeah, that, I mean that guy freaking hiked up some of the steepest places in Hell's Canyon and in Alaska. You and know? hiked down with a, an yeah. elk meat packed on his sheep. back, hundreds of pounds. Oh, the, sheep, the sheep, elk, oh. bear, yeah. whatever it may be. Right. Um, you got Colton. Colton is nine. Yeah, yeah. Colton's nine. So you got nine years left in your your joints and your 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 body and. How, how many more wrestle mats are you going to have to get by the time it's nine years from now for you to get on a mat and be able to do a knee pound and a knee penetration? Probably three more. You get my point, right? Like, it's, the more you put on, and if, it's, if they're classic, they're better. I like how you kind of, like, melt into the class. I'm, I'm a classic guy. Yeah, wrestle yeah. all the way. You know that. I'm pretty vocal about it, right? Yeah. Just not one of those flex. The flex. I don't like the flexy ones. And yeah. The light, just not me. But I really love it. Do you think you got nine years left in your... And you're coaching with, you know, helping your son. Um, yeah. Physically. Yeah. Physically. I already know that you speak. Well, I don't know. Speak, I've, but... I've never been a whistle guy, but I might become more of a whistle <laughs> guy in the coming years. You know, like the hands-on, like working in there, you know, working in with the kids and showing. But, um, yeah, you know, i got to take care of myself, obviously. Um, maybe, maybe get another knee operation or, you know... Do you have any cartilage in either knee? I in my left. You do you have, have some a little, 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 little bit. Yeah, left of the tank. A little bit in the left, not much in the right. Maybe so. they can put some of that foam, you know, that foam filler stuff. You can get it like Home Depot. Yeah, I've seen it. You that put it in. Sh- yeah, to, when you when you get a hole in the yeah, wall that, or f- fill yeah, in, yeah, yeah like between you drywall. Can do that in your knee, maybe. May, maybe. Um, I think Troy Steiner said it. You know, just just never stop. He's never stopped. If you look right. at that guy, he's a freak. And I know you guys worked together for over a decade together. Yeah. Um. Is that a key? Is that is he got something there? But never. Yeah. Stopping? Well, I think so because you know I think when you get out of shape, it's it's a lot easier to get out of shape than to get back into shape, right? It's kind of like your grade point. You know, it's really easy for it to drop to a one point oh if you take a couple weeks off mentally. It's really hard to get it back up. 
when you're in school. Your wrestling's the same. You come in in the fall, you see some of the guys that haven't done anything in the summer. It takes them a while to get in shape. They spend most of the fall trying to get in shape and can't go, go through a full workout with, you know, doing things as efficient as they should be doing. Where if you stay in shape, man, what, what is, what's the old thing? Use it or lose it, you know? You got to, again, just be consistent, you know? And you can do it different ways, you know? Like, I can't run that much anymore. I mean, I think I told you the other day. It's like two minutes and maybe three minutes and I got to stop because my knee's blowing up and I fast walk or hike up the hill or whatever. Man, but you got the bikes, you got the cross trainers, you got so many things you can do. You guys have hiking here. It's hiking. You, certain, can, you certain can go weight. find a vertical face and climb it. Oh, yeah. Within you a 10-minute drive here. Yes, you could go straight up. You actually 20. can go over the back of your property here. Yeah. The, the top of this hill, and yeah. there's we went to it. Yeah, you could go battle there if you wanted to. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got to so be creative. You're right. You, you just like you know sometimes, and that would be the kind of getting off subject here because we were talking about you know other things. But well, taking care of your body. Yeah, well, and then when you get to the you know kids and training kids and stuff, like you guys, you can find something to do. There's not really a day that should go by or two days that should go by where you can't find something that's beneficial for your, your training, your, um, you know, your regimen, getting stronger, um, getting your timing down more, studying, learning technique, working your holds, you know, working your skills. And so, um, yeah, it's just a crazy time. Hopefully we'll be out of it, um, you know, the, in across the country sooner rather, rather than later. I know there's some people that are more out of it than others depending where they're at. but I felt uh, like the, my time here was we were pretty out of it. Yeah. Felt really good here. Well, we haven't had a room. Um, you know, they're just, it's just starting to come back. It's, yeah. it's, 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 Idaho has been, we're kind of ahead. You know, we're mm -hmm. kind of ahead of some of the other states. Mm -hmm. You know, they got football going right Senior now. Senior part of Washington, too, felt ahead. Uh, part of, yeah, part of Washington. Part of, part of Washington is, Eastern Washington fell ahead. Obviously, Northern Idaho fell ahead. Yeah, right. Right. Then, I mean, some places are like, you can't, you know, do well, anything. Well, Los Angeles County, yeah, right. I think they're locked down. So. We, we go to, the, we got a gym. We could go to the gym and lift weights and you can do that. And they, you know, they want you to try to stay away from people, kind of not, you know, which most of the time I, I go to the gym, you, you know, you're over there doing your lift anyway. Um, but they, they're just trying to keep some distance between people and that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, I don't know all the answers. Not even. Not I got. Even I got. Food. I got a definitive answer here. Are you ready to eat dinner? We're ready to eat dinner, and I think we're gonna watch some fights. Who you got? Stipe. Oh man! Both Don't wrestlers. put me on the spot Both wrestlers. Like we got that. Stipe. We got DC. Who you got? Well, I. Oh man. I, I don't I'm not a betting man. Is it gonna go the distance? Is it gonna is it gonna end so early? They knock each other out in both fights. Yeah, yeah. Right? I got it not going the distance. Or TKO, one was a TKO. One's I a got Dan. One. I there's my bet. I got Dan getting very animated and emotional afterwards. Because if he wins or if he doesn't, it's his last fight, I think. So I don't think so. I, I well maybe not. I got him I, I'm gonna go with Dan. Yeah, DC. I, I'm gonna go with Dan. I'm yeah. gonna go with Northeast Ohio. I'm gonna go with Dan. I've been watching Dan since he was a junior. I college. like Dan. Dan's a good guy. Yeah, I've been watching he Colby. He was uh, Neo Show. He, he was Colby, Kansas. Was he Colby, Kansas? Yeah, I've been watching Dan. I coached against Dan. Man, he thrashed one of my guys. Yeah, I was like, who is this He's guy? He's for real. Yeah, when Dan's was, for real. When he was a young JC kid. Yeah. So he's a JUCO champ, right? Uh, twice, I believe. Yeah, Dan's a real dude and state. a good guy. Good, good, dude. and a wrestling guy. But Steve is a fireman. He's yeah, a how can you how can you root against a fireman? I mean, and he's, and it, and he's state runner up or now. Yeah, Ohio. Yeah, yeah, you can't root against a Brent fireman. Brent Miller, Wapakoneta, beat him in the state finals. Truth bomb fact. Close match. Mm. So Steve is the real deal. So I think we both win because the community wrestling community wins. But I'll go with Steve. You go DC. Let's go get some dinner. All right.